In this video, we're going to build a noise generator into your workshop. For this project, we're going to need a breadboard, two 10K potentiometers, some jumper cables, and an Arduino microcontroller. We're also going to need a way to upload our code to our Arduino. I'm using a laptop. Our first step is to unplug the workshop. Then, using the Phillips head screwdriver, we'll remove the top four screws. Inside the PCB, there will be screws holding the board to the chassis. These are the screws that you'll need to get ground off of. Simply strip one end of a jumper cable, wrap it around the ground screw, and tighten. You can now close the Werkstatt. Now we have our ground jumper cable coming out of the side of the Werkstatt. So let's patch this into our breadboard. Take your 10K potentiometer and place it so that ground from the Werkstatt is touching one of the outside pins. This ground is going to need to be shared between the Werkstatt and the Arduino. So use another jumper cable to run from that potentiometer into the Arduino's ground. Using another jumper cable, run from the 5 volt output on the Arduino into the far pin on the potentiometer. This needs to be the opposite side from ground. Now take the middle pin of the potentiometer and run it into analog input 0. And there you go. Now you have a potentiometer that's sending a signal into our Arduino from 0 to 5 volts, depending on how it's turned. This potentiometer will act as our color control. Now take your second 10K potentiometer and place it on the breadboard. This potentiometer is going to act as a mix signal for our noise. Take one jumper cable and run it out of digital output 1. This is where our noise signal is coming from. It needs to be fed into the potentiometer. From there, run your last signal cable from the middle pin of the potentiometer into your VCF audio in. And there you go. Now the circuit's ready for us to upload the code to the Arduino itself. So in the code, we can see that our noise output is listed as digital output 1, and our analog input is listed as analog input 0. Now we just click Upload, making sure that Arduino is connected via USB, and our code should be running. This noise circuit works best with the pulse wave setting in your VCO. I'm going to turn the VCA to on position so we can hear the difference in color as I turn the color potentiometer. Here, as I turn this potentiometer, the color of the noise change. And as I turn the other one, you'll hear the mix change. The reason this works is because the provided Werkstatt library is creating a randomized bitstream and sending that bitstream out of digital output 1. By using an Arduino, we were able to add a secondary sound source to our Werkstatt. All Arduino code, parts list, and fritzing models are available online at berkstadtworkshop.com.